I know you don't want to do it. I know you just want to listen to that little voice that comes to you when you hear that alarm go off in the morning or when you're feeling tired or weak or sick of the grind. You want to listen to that voice that tells you it's okay to take the day off. It's okay to back down. It's okay to not try anymore. That voice, the one telling you it's okay to slack off, is the same voice that will keep you stuck where you are. It's the voice of comfort, of staying the same, and it's as tempting as it is dangerous. This voice, it's sneaky. It makes excuses sound reasonable, laziness feel justified, and quitting seem like an option. But it's all a trap. You've got to recognize that voice for what it is, a barrier to your success. It's not your friend or your ally, it's the enemy of your potential. Every time you listen to it, you give away a piece of your progress, a chunk of your dreams. When you hear that little voice start to kick in, shut it down immediately. Do not listen to that little weak voice. That weakness in your head is trying to get you to take the easier route. And that easier route may be easier in the beginning, but it will prove to be longer and more painful than the hard route. And what's the hard route? The hard route's getting up when you know you need to get up. It's studying when you know you should be studying. It's getting to work on time when you need to be working. It's putting in those extra reps when you know you need to stretch yourself to get stronger. You need to cultivate a different voice in your head. The voice of resilience, of determination, of grit. This is the voice that says, get up, even though you're tired. It's the voice that tells you to keep pushing when everything in you wants to stop. This is the voice of a champion, and it's the one you need to listen to. Remember, the path to greatness is littered with challenges, but these challenges are not there to stop you. They're there to test you, to make you stronger to prepare you for what's to come. Every time you overcome a challenge, you grow. You become more than you were before. When you can get to the point where you are willing to do what sucks every day and continue to get stuff done no matter how much you don't feel like doing it, you will change everything in your life for the better. The most successful people in the world are the ones who can go against their feelings and do things that are hard, independent of their feeling toward the mission they set out to complete. I need you to flat out decide, what's it gonna be? Are you gonna get up and get things done today? Yes or no? Are you gonna study today? Yes or no? Are you gonna put in the work to improve yourself today? Yes or no? Stop leaving room for negotiation with your feelings and emotions. Your feelings will never cooperate with your dreams. I need you to separate yourself from your feelings and disregard them. Because when you can take control of them, you will become a disciplined, goal-achieving machine. This is where you transform, where you become unstoppable. It's not just about doing the hard stuff. It's about loving the challenge, embracing the struggle. Your potential is limitless. When you push past what you thought was possible, when you defy your own limitations, that's when you truly start living. You're no longer a slave to your comfort zone. You're a master of your destiny. Every step forward, every task completed, it's a victory. It's a testament to your strength, your willpower, your determination. Turn your ambitions into action. Let every heartbeat, every breath be a reminder of your goals. This is your time, your moment. Push harder, go further, be bolder. You're not just doing this for today. You're setting the stage for tomorrow, for the rest of your life. Every decision, every action is a building block for your future. This isn't just about the goals you achieve, it's about the person you become in the process. As you build this future, your vision becomes clear. Each step, each victory sharpens your focus. Your goals are no longer distant dreams, but achievable realities. With every challenge you overcome, you see your future self more clearly. Discipline is the weapon that destroys mediocrity. Every time you choose to wake up early instead of hitting snooze, every time you pick the salad over the burger, every time you hit the gym, even when you're dead tired, you're striking a blow against weakness. You strengthen your mind every time you do this hard sh and push through it. You armor your mind by becoming gritty. 
Nobody's gonna hand you shit in life. You gotta do it. If you're gonna make those dreams and goals happen, it's on you to make it happen. And that takes discipline. It means being your own toughest coach, your own most demanding trainer, and not allowing yourself off the hook. You force yourself to do the very best you can every time. You don't get to make excuses. You don't get to back down. You keep moving, keep striving, keep pushing the envelope of what you thought was possible. If you want to get to the next level, if you want to do it, if you want to live it, if you want to be it, stop talking about it and start being full committed. Become the person who says, this is going to fucking work. No matter what happens, no matter how frustrated I get, no matter how angry I get, no matter what gets in the way, I am fucking doing this. You've got to be relentless in your pursuit of greatness. Every day is a new round in the ring and you've got to come out swinging. Train your mind to crave progress over comfort, growth over stagnation. Condition yourself to find satisfaction in the grind, to get a thrill from the challenge. The discipline you're building is not just for today or tomorrow or next week, it's for life. You're sculpting a version of yourself that can handle any challenge, overcome any obstacle, achieve any goal. Be the fucking master of your destiny, not the slave of your desires. At the very moment when everything in you wants to do absolutely nothing, you gotta get the job done. Stop having dialogue with your emotion. Stop negotiating with your feelings and start to act. That's where people separate themselves from the pack. That's where people earn the right to success. They earn the money, they earn the life, they earn the relationship, they earn the body in those little moments where they don't want to do what they need to do, but move forward regardless of how they feel. That's what champions know, champions understand, and champions can thrive on. While you're taking time off, relaxing, chilling out, someone you're up against might be getting ahead of you. They might be putting in more reps, more work, more effort. And while you're lounging, they're grinding, sharpening their skills and getting that edge. Every minute you spend relaxing, they're using to become stronger, faster, smarter. The race doesn't pause because you decide to take a break. Your competition is relentless, and so must you be. Every single day of your life, you have a chance to get further ahead of those people you're competing with. You have a chance to push yourself to do better, outperform yourself in anyone you gotta go up against. Every day is a new opportunity, a fresh battlefield where you can prove your capabilities. It's not just about beating the others. It's about conquering your own limits and setting new records for yourself. You need to work harder. You need to study harder. You need to grind more. You don't become number one by taking days off. You don't become number one by chilling on the weekends or holidays. You become number one by doing what all the other people aren't willing to. It's about the extra mile, the additional hour, the second workout. It's about that relentless pursuit of excellence that never settles for good enough. And that takes discipline in yourself to do all the shit you don't want to do. But know you need to. You gotta get your ass up when you're feeling tired and feeling weak and get yourself moving forward toward the mission at hand. It's about conquering the inner laziness, the voice that begs for just one more hour of sleep, one more episode, one more moment of ease. That's the voice of mediocrity and you gotta crush it under your determination. The universe doesn't give a f that it's the holidays, that it's New Year's Eve, that it's the weekend. Time will keep moving and the world will keep moving. So that means you got to keep moving too. You don't have time to stop. You don't have time to slack off. Time is the one resource you can't get back. And every second you waste is a second loss from your journey to greatness. The clock is ticking and it's ruthless. Success isn't going to wait for you. You got to chase it down. If you're stopping and starting constantly, you won't ever catch it. You gotta be consistent. You gotta never let your foot off the gas. Never stop, never quit. It's about that relentless pursuit, that unwavering focus, that unstoppable drive that separates the legends from the masses. All the average people in the world are gonna think you're crazy. They're gonna call you a psycho and not understand why you're working so hard. They won't get it. 
and they don't have to get it. The only one who needs to know why you're putting in this work is you. Let them talk, let them wonder, let them doubt. You're not here to make sense to them. You're here to make miracles for yourself. So when your competitors are sleeping, you're working. When they're out having a good time, you're working. Because when you do this, while they're dreaming about how great it'd be to be number one, you'll be living it. Your dedication is what turns dreams into reality. You gotta have the strength of character to read, to digest information, to work on yourself, to work on your craft, on your abilities, on your ideas consistently without letting yourself slide into complacency, holding a higher standard than anyone else is willing to. Doing things to the very best of your ability. It's about that relentless self-improvement, the constant striving for knowledge and mastery that sets you apart. You have no idea how great you could become if you tried your hardest. You could become 10 times, 20 times better than you are right now. Your potential is unlimited when you're willing to do whatever it takes. Imagine the heights you could reach if you pushed yourself to your absolute limits. The only thing standing between you and your utmost potential is the amount of work you're willing to put in. So you gotta go all in and witness the transformation of yourself. You may not have that natural talent or a gift for creativity or intellect. You might not have any of those things. But what you lack in those things, you can make up with effort. You can decide that you will outwork everyone. When you need to do 45 minutes on the treadmill, you do 46. When it's supposed to be 20 phone calls, you make 21. When it's supposed to be an eight hour workday, you work nine. Whatever it is, you always do one more. And what that does is it makes you eventually think you're doing things other people aren't willing to do, so you should get things other people aren't gonna get. You've gotta understand, it's not about what you were born with. It's not about what you were given, or where you started, or even where you're going. It is entirely about what you plant at the center of your soul. How hard you're willing to go after something. How much focus you're willing to put in your life. And how often you come back to that level of intensity for who you want to be. But you gotta understand, kinda is lethal. There's so many kinda people. Most people kinda want a career change. They kinda want to get straight A's. They kinda want to get in shape. But if you only kind of want something, then you're only going to kind of get the results you want. You can't just kind of want that thing. You got to want it with every part of your being. Will you struggle? Yeah, you're going to struggle. There's no way around it. You're going to fall so many times, but who's counting? If you want to make it to the top of your field, top of your class, top of your industry, then there's going to be sharp ridges that must be stepped over. There's going to be times you get stressed and things you get depressed over. But let me tell you something. Struggle and criticisms are prerequisites for greatness. That is the law of this universe, and no one escapes it because pain is life. But you can choose what type. Either the pain on the road to success or the pain of being haunted with regret. Download this video and audio by becoming a member at BenLionelScott.com. Plus, get early access to all new content and hundreds of exclusive videos.